Shouts, welcome to another video. We are today driving a yellow B16 EG, B16 A2, I believe. Now, I'm on a track day today at Donington, and we happen to be sharing a garage here with Sam, the owner, who's got his own kind of Honda workshop in Bradford. He's another Yorkshire boy, Bradford, I should say, of course. And he's here in his EG today, he's having a bit of fun. This is very much uh, an easy going EG, it's only on. 808Rs, old school 808Rs, it's not a full track day spec, it's somewhere in between kind of a fast road car, it's a M606 Blaster, yeah, that's what it is. So it's just topping up some of the fluids now, we're going to go for a rip. Oh, it's a B18, sorry, isn't it? Not a B B16. So it's got a DC2 Type R engine in it, sorry, I said it wrong on the intro. I should have read the reg plate. So, B18C, which is a DC2 Type R engine. But we're on road tyres, um, gearbox and all that, standard tag, S80, so we've got LSD at least. But yeah, it's a, it's probably like a fast road spec, isn't it? Yeah. Not an all-out track car by any means, but she should give us a good time. So, let's go out for a drive, we're going to have the helmet cam on. Does it do the VTEX, yeah? Nice one, right. So, let's go and see what it's like to drive. Ugh. Right, to be honest chaps, this is the second time that I have driven this car, right? The first time this helmet car, as useful as it is, was pointing at the sky. Yeah, you do you mate, don't worry about me. Okay unusable glad i checked it and thanks to sam for letting me take his p16 honda out again so i have already driven this car on track but we are going to drive it again okay so let's go let's go okay let's go Slightly different uh, video settings as well, we're on 4K and I'll try and keep the helmet tilted slightly. There we go. Car is stone cold though, so we will do a warm up lap. Remember this is a B18C DC2 Type R engine in an EG. But we've got very much a track day spec on the grips. We've not got many grips. We've got ADO8Rs which are very old. We've got no rear anti-roll bar, zero, nil poids rear anti-roll bar we've got one of Sam's friends behind us in an EK but we'll just go steady because we want it to warm up don't we, we do it's a DC2 type R engine, you know what they're worth I do go on, we'll let the EK go past and then we'll, we'll play catch up shall we Oh, go on, lad. Come on, anyway, it has. DC5 here as well, though. Golf 
cuts, you know. already way more interesting than the first drive at least There's an MX-5 somewhere, there he is Come on EK, lead the way in that EKX, where it be 18, don't forget, just about the same as it does in the straight line. dancing on these 88 hours because well it's not just the grip in the corners that we're struggling with but it's the braking performance as well you've only got so much traction right you've only got so much traction and we're using some ancient to try and slow this 18C DG round. Doing it just about, but we want to be wary of it. We don't want to be locking up those rear brakes. Just want to be wary of it. We don't want to be locking up those rear brakes. And it's, and it's very easy, very easy to do that because of the limited traction that we've got. problem the blocking the rear brakes
try and ease into these brakes a little bit more. as flat, which is a dumb thing to do if someone else's car is worth a lot, which is going to be a bit sketchy. Let's see, have I got the ball? No. It's just, it's just not got the grip. Last thing you want to do is bail out mid-corner. I think he's trying with us. Yeah, he's definitely trying with us. One more left, anyone do you think? Yeah, it's got some power that E36 had it. Thanks, Siege. He's doing very fast in Australia as well. Right, let's not lock, lock the rear this time, that's better. Still a little bit off where we'd want to be with our traction but well, it's not too bad ok let's calm down a bit Sorry, I went a bit quiet. So, yeah, we're, we're at the limit of these tyres now. Let's give it a little rest. Get it back into the pits all nice and calm. Oh, sorry, it's, it's a lot more concentrating going on. So, we've obviously got the, the white car there as well, which in the real world I've actually already driven, but in the video sphere, that's still to come for you, but you've got to be so much more on your toes with this car compared to the white car which has all the grips. It's just the tyres, it's amazing what a difference tyres can make. Thanks to Sam for letting me take his car out again. That was definitely a bit more entertaining this time. But, you know, it's just the traction. If it just had slightly better tyres, it's not so much the pace that's the problem. It's just the confidence in these tyres. But I don't think he's uh, under any illusions that these are optimal tyres for his car. I don't think anyone's pretending that, but... Yeah, so we had a little moment there into turn one, but all good, didn't it? Anyway, hopefully that camera angle's a little bit better. Right, how was the little EG then? Well, of course it was a lot of fun, yeah. Definitely has a bit of a, a limitation on traction, let's say, from the 808Rs, but they are the original. 808R, and he reckons they've done about 8 or 9 track days as well. So we're talking a tyre that could be, well must be at least 5 years old. And then has done a lot of track days as well. So, you know, we were fighting with, with traction a bit. But it were nice to be, were, was, it was nice to be in a car like this. With its interior. And I was relaxed. I don't know if I sounded relaxed. I know I didn't do a lot of talking. But I was relaxed in there. Look at that, just a seatbelt and a pole position. 
I ran my Integra like this for a while, you know. Didn't have the luxuries of, of carpet, of any of this other jazz going on. But didn't realise as well, I've just confirmed. What's going on here? The original rear bench. Look at that, that's funky, isn't it? Sorry, it's a bit dark, but it's it's well funky. Hey, oh, look at this. Got some gold in here. What's this? Oh, trade member. Yes, please, I'll be keeping that. Get good pizza from Costco. So, yeah, thanks to Sam for letting me take it out. What do you think? Nice to have a blast. And a little B18, isn't it? Well, I was about this then. If you thought having a little blast in a B18 were good, how about a blast in a B16? So, I'm driving this next. This will be your next video. It's a coupe, a coupe, but it's got a uh, B16 A2, right? But, 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 it's got the ADO8R's much stronger, uh, was it a brother or a relative? It's an AO48. We've got the high spec brakes, we've got the grips. So we're going for a big block B18 with no grip. We're going to a B16 small block but with the grip. So this should be a good comparison and it'll be in your next video. So keep a look out for that. Another one of these Bratford cars. Yeah, M606 blasters. But yeah, thanks to Sam for letting me drive the car. Lovely shade of yellow as well. Phoenix, of course, I presume. Or is it Sundance? I don't know, you can argue about it in the comments, but cool to see, innit? JDM EG, but with a 98 spec DC2 engine, yeah? I don't need to tell you if this is good to drive or not, do I? Lovely stuff. Thanks for watching.